sleepovers have got to be the craziest functions on the planet. Ever since the JIT days, I've been begging my mom to stay at my friend's house for the night to sleep over. Like, I had to go on a crazy quest just to beg her to let me go over there and stay the night. Mom, please, sleep over, sleep over, sleep over. And once your parents were convinced, it was like you were on cloud nine, getting this crazy dopamine boost. You were, like, jumping all over the place. And now when I ask my mom to have my friends over to sleep over, it's like I don't even got to ask anymore. I don't know what happened, but hey, I'll take it. Now, I'm sure all of you can remember your first sleepover like it was yesterday because that's how crazy of an event it was. How hyped up you were to be staying over your friend's house for the night. Now, I arrived at my first sleepover and there were tons of people there. It was kind of like a merge between a sleepover and a party. And we did basically the normal party slash sleepover things like movies, video games, food, etc. And it was getting late. And I mean really late. I was in like second grade at the time. 12 a.m. was, it was late for me. Like my parents would make me go to bed at like 8 p.m. So this was like new territory for me. But thank God I wasn't the first person to fall asleep, man. You gotta stay strapped out here. Because as soon as the other kids found out that so-and-so, uh, you know, we'll give them a name, Ben. As soon as Ben fell asleep, we hit him with the water trick. Now, if you don't know what the water trick is, you basically just stick someone's hand in a bowl of water and they're supposed to piss themselves. Shh, guys, 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 guys. Someone go get a bowl of water. Ben's knocked out. Yo, I'm on it, bro. I'm on it. I was waiting for this moment. Bro, shut up. You're gonna wake him up. Tiptoe. A few minutes later. All right, I'm back with the water. And one hour later, there was piss in his pants. Okay, no, there wasn't. He was just mad. This taught me a great lesson not to fall asleep at the sleepovers first. As one of my friends, uh, he was the host too. He, he said like, this is why you never fall asleep first. All right, noted. And I noted that for the rest of my life. And of course, we continued to do our devious antics as other kids fell asleep. And then next, we, we did the mustache trick, which just draw a mustache on someone. And they wake up, look in the mirror. Oh my God, I got a fucking beard. Holy shit. It's like they went through 20 years of life in one sleep. I guess that's what the trick is. I don't know. And maybe they might find a Mickey Mouse logo on the side of their cheek too. Who even knows? But yeah, that was just tough beans for that kid, man. Like, hopefully we didn't use a permanent marker. As soon as we were done, bro woke up and he probably smelled the fucking Sharpie. So I wouldn't be surprised if we used permanent marker. Then the next sleepover I remember, it was in fifth grade. I was about to go to middle school. I was about to be a cool ass, guys. Oh my God. But no, let me tell you, I was, I was not a cool ass. It was like two in the morning. I had like baseball practice the next morning and somehow I thought it was a brilliant idea to sleep over but Yeah, guys, I, I definitely wouldn't be tired for practice. No, no, not at all And I gotta go to sleep and everyone was just still talking Everyone was still hyper as shit and instead of enjoying the, my time having a great time at the party or, I said the worst thing you could possibly say at a sleepover guys actually I'm trying to sleep. Could you guys shut the fuck up? Okay, I didn't say it like that But I'm like guys, I'm trying to sleep and yeah, I don't know how I was still friends with this kid afterward but like if you were tired go home like it isn't that hard my past self was really dumb if you couldn't tell like i shouldn't have even slept over there if i was trying to sleep or whatever and everyone continued chatting whispering laughing etc because who's got who the hell's gonna listen to me i was literally the walking nerd emoji in that moment in time i just killed the vibe every time i opened my mouth and sleepovers always had the the wildest conversations and i think i would have actually had fun if i partook in any of these but no i to be the fucking nerd emoji. I was literally that kid in the corner. Well, everyone was having a fun time staying up late. I guess I didn't get the memo that you're meant to stay up late at sleepovers. It would just get silent, and the part that kept everyone up is some kid would just talk, and then everyone would put their head up again. Penis. <laughs> hey, guys, guys, can I get a hoya ratio, buddy? Shut your goofy ass up before I start hitting on your sister. Yo! That's a bro code violation. Guys, I'm trying to sleep. Can you guys shut up? No. And they went back to it, which, yeah, I definitely deserve that. That's like some idiot behavior, right? And as we progressed through middle school, I finally learned that, hey, sleepovers, you're supposed to stay up late, dumbass. And towards the end of high school, sleepovers really started to hit different. The jokes, the games, and the activities were just far superior. And somehow my parents didn't even care because they apparently the next morning they said they heard us marching up and down the stairs like a horde of elephants. I guess my parents let a lot more loose with what I can do with sleepovers over the years. 
Thoughts because, well, I was allowed to be up with the boys at 4 a.m. for those late night thoughts, and those went crazy. Oh my, yo, if you really think about it, your future self's just gonna start talking shit about you one day, like your present self right now. Whoa. Yo, I never thought of it like that. That's crazy. So you see that spike ball net over there? Bro, if we cut holes in it, there would be less holes in the net. Huh? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Look at Brandon over there. What a what a robot. Don't make me come over there and kiss you. Yo! Yeah, out of nowhere, I'd hear some sus shit. And yeah, you, you got the whole room jumping at four in the morning. And believe it or not, man, it, it, it doesn't stop here. It only gets better once we get to college. Skip to college. I was like a freshman. And I was hosting a party slash sleepover. I don't know if this was like the first big party I've hosted. And this party went crazy because, well, yeah, there was a certain drink that was introduced. You know, I really was messing with the apple juice, the bots, bro. Hey, I had to buy a lot. So yeah, we were so out of it that we almost got a noise complaint because we went outside to play basketball at one in the morning. Like, yeah, that's a really smart idea. And we were all just being a bunch of loud idiots while we were just shooting the ball around, just laughing about whatever the hell we were talking about. Who knows, man? Maybe someone, some angry Karen was on the phone with the police. I did have a Karen that used to live like down the street from me. It could have happened. But then I got a text from my mom saying, duck, get you and your dumbass friends back in here before we get a noise complaint. Of course, I gathered the, the herd and we went back inside because while well, I didn't want 12 pulling up tonight so we went back inside and the big guns were introduced and man I was starting to see stars if you catch my drift I had to have birdie like help me walk up the stairs because I was like fucking falling all over the place and all I remember is us just laughing like Beavis and Butthead at like three in the morning like <laughs> <laughs> like they, looking back on it this shit was way too funny and then we went to play darts which wow what what great decision making no one was harmed in this game of darts we had like Lil Uzi blaring on the speaker at like three in the morning so we had that going in the background and then my friend bet me twenty dollars that I wouldn't get over 50 points so I'm like all right challenge challenge accepted it. We got right to it and I just started locking in. And are you ready? First shot hit the goddamn wood. I hit the wood! Like, I'm choking badly. And everyone just starts hysterically <laughs> laughing, including me, because bro, it ain't looking good at this point. And then next shot, I hit a triple 19. And let's just say I won the bet. And he, my friend Venmo me 20 bucks. And that same friend that Venmo me 20 bucks made some goofy dancing video. And <laughs> I don't know, if, I don't know where this was put. Maybe it was on his story, but who even knows if it was posted. Then we finally went to bed. It was like 5 a.m. I'm not even joking. And then I just heard a bunch of snoring within like 10 minutes. And then I wake up the next morning with a severe headache. What the fuck happened? Love you, John. Wh which one of you fuckers wrote this? I, I don't even know. Now, one type of sleepover that I did not mention, because of course, I don't have the dog in me to do this, but pretend to be gay at the girl's sleepover. Now, if you've done this, you got some serious dog in you, bro. Holy fuck. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, watch that video right there on the end screen. You'll love it. I promise. Also, go follow the Spotify podcast I started one up recently. Link in description. Bye.